Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my fried fish stew. Guys, this recipe is so easy to make, but the taste is out of the world. It's nowhere near easy. The taste, gosh, have this with your bread, with your rice, with pasta, with anything. It goes beautifully. All right, so why don't we, you know, get started. My name is Ify and welcome to my kitchen. To make my fish stew recipe, you'll need the following ingredients. Croker fish, vegetable oil, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, also known as tatashi, some tomatoes, cayenne pepper, which you know as shombo, scotch bonnet peppers, atarodo to us. We'll also be needing salt, fish seasoning, onion powder, shrimp seasoning, some curry powder, thyme, garlic ginger paste, and some onion. Don't worry, I'll drop the list of all ingredients in the description box and you can get it from there. Now, before we start with this stew, the first thing to do is to season your fish. I'm using croaker fish, like I said earlier, but feel free to use any fish of your choice. All right, so I've added my onion powder. I'm adding my fish seasoning now. I'm also going to be adding some ginger garlic paste. This is basically ginger and garlic that has been blended together to form a paste. I'm adding some salt as well. So these are the spices I'm going to be using. Feel free to use whatever spice you have available to you, all right? So I'm just gonna go in there and ensure that um, the spices coat the fish very nicely, all right? I'm using a wooden spoon to do so, but really I prefer my hand, so I'm just going to ditch the spoon and use my hand. And this way I'll ensure that the spices, you know, coat every part of this fish, all right? This is the first step to making great tasting fish. So once I'm done ensuring that all the fishes are nicely coated with the spices, I'm just going to take a cling film or a plastic wrap, cover the fish and allow it to marinate for minimum of two hours. Okay, so you can do overnight. You can do as long as you have the time to, you know, let the fish marinate. Okay, so minimum two hours, right? To so just cover it and put it in your um, fridge or on the countertop and allow it to marinate very very nicely okay so let's prep our tomatoes and peppers for our stew if you notice i have the seeded our uh, red bell pepper which is also known as, known as tatashi i removed all the seeds in it because the seeds tend to be bitter and we don't want anything bitter in our stew so i've removed the seeds and now i'm going to chop everything into small bits to allow for easy blending if you're new to this channel and you're just watching any of my videos for the first time i say a very big welcome and i'm really glad that you're here one more thing i'd like for you to become part of this growing family so i ask you to please click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you'll know all about it welcome once again Once I'm done chopping up all the tomatoes and peppers, I'm going to put them in my blender and then blend them. But because the peppers and tomatoes are quite a bit, I'm going to do them in batches. Everything can enter my blender at once. So I'm going to do them in batches, you know. Do the first set and then come back for the other set. Now while blending, I'm not going to add any water. This is because I want to reduce the time it's going to take me to cook, okay? 
if you add a lot of water then you would have to prop, um, either boil your pepper mix or it takes longer to fry so to cut short the cooking time i don't add water so i'm just going to pour the blended mix into a bowl and then set it aside for later use Okay, great, we're moving, we're making progress. So we're going to fry our fish now, right? So I have my pan on the fire and I've added some vegetable oil. I'm gonna let this oil get hot first before adding in my onions. Now this onions is to add some um, additional taste and flavor to your fish. Please don't skip it if you can, okay? It does so much, it's just, just gonna flavor the fish and everywhere around you just smelling so good, all right? So once that is done, your oil is hot enough, add in your fish. Now, I'm going to share a tip with you that my mom shared with me when I was little. What you need to do when you're frying fish is to exercise a whole lot of patience, okay? To fry fish, you need patience, basically. For it not to, you know, break, aside, break apart, you don't need to necessarily coat um, the fish with flour for it not to break, okay? So that's why you just put it, put the fish in your oil and then walk away go do something else don't go too far though but go do something else and then let it fry when it is well fried okay it will pull apart from the pan easily it won't break so you just turn it to the other side so the other side is well fried and then you take it out of the oil easy peasy This is the part where we make our tomato stew, okay? So what I have in the pot now is some vegetable oil and I've added the onions. I'm gonna stir fry the onions till it is, you know, it's fragrant and then it's translucent. The oil that I've used in this pan is the same oil that I used to fry the fish, okay? Please use the same oil. It's going to impart its own additional flavor to the whole stew, okay? I've also added some garlic and ginger paste, which also you know give our stew additional flavor right so i'm just going to stir it and allow it to fry for maybe another one minute and then i add in my pepper mix once i've added the pepper mix in here i'm going to stir now don't be alarmed at the quantity of oil in this pot this will ensure that your stew will cook fast and easily okay because if you don't put quite a bit of oil it'll take a longer time to cook it'll basically struggle okay so now it's just going to fry very quickly and when it's all done i can remove the oil and use the oil for something else all right so after the stew cooked for about 20 minutes i added my seasoning i added my curry powder thyme and my shrimp um, powder okay my shrimp seasoning powder basically so i'm just going to stay and allow it to cook for another 10 minutes you have to taste as you go along so you know whether to add some more seasoning or salt so i added some more salt you know stirred it some more you can see it's frying very nicely in fact at this point your stew is fried once the stew the oil separates from the tomatoes you know that it is well fried so i've just added a bit of water to loosen the stew up a bit you know just make it a little more fluid all right now this is not the kind of stew that you make to be liquidy no it is fried stew so it has to be kind of you know thick right so just added a little water to loosen it you know what i mean now i'm adding the fish back once you add your fish to your stew you cannot go about stirring this pot of goodness anyhow you have to stir it delicately or else the fish that you have struggled to fry perfectly can scatter and you don't want that okay so just stir stir it very delicately and then we're going to cover the pot to allow everything to steam together for about 10 minutes and then we'll turn up the heat i like to do this process on low heat that is um the part where i steam allow the fish to simmer with the stew i like to do it on low heat okay so once um you're done stirring cover the pot and allow it to simmer so after about eight to ten minutes i came to check on the stew or oh, look at it bubbling so happily away 
the aroma in the air and gosh you can i can't even describe it you can only try it for yourself it smells so good and you can tell that it's going to taste really really good too right and yes remember i was talking about the excess oil on top remove that oil and use it for any other thing i use it to fry my eggs i use it to cook my jollof fries anything okay it's good stuff so i want to say thank you for watching this video and I'd, i hope you'll recreate yours if you haven't clicked that subscribe button do so now and let me know you've done so in the comment section till i come your way some other time keep eating good food and take care of yourselves